Hello there, if you want to figure out how to fulfill an order using the CJ dropshipping, you are in the right place. So let's dig into it, let's do this. A really, really simple step. So there are two ways that we can do this, but the best and easy way, uh, the way that we're going to be showing you how to do this is using a store. So you can connect your CJ dropshipping as a supplier, as a third party, you can create the dropshipping. I mean, you can do that into your store. You'd have to make purchases inside the CJ dropshipping. Like, let's say you want to choose an item, choose to buy, uh, fulfilled all that information of your of your clients. I mean, you don't have to be really, really focused into anything. If you follow the next steps so in our case we do love to have a store using a for example i'm going to be using shopify shopify is really really easy to use if you want to work in the drop shipping industry so i'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to create your shopify account you might be able to have three months for only one freaking dollar which i think it's really really low price comparing with all the features that shopify has to offer to us now here for example i do have my sales channel i do have my online store and as you can see i've just started with my dawn theme so this is my store actually we don't have anything so i don't want to focus here into the themes i just want to focus into how we can add some products from cj adding that into our Shopify store and then what we can do is to put those directly into our online store so people can start making orders directly from our store and then uh, the orders are going to be sent automatically into CJ Dropshipping. So let's begin. First of all, once you have your account here into Shopify, you have your store already created. You don't want to focus into the theme, into the creative section, which you just want to focus into the products. So first of all, I'm going to hit into apps. I'm going to hit add applications. And here as you can see, we have the CJ dropshipping. So I want to hit into add. And what's going to happen is going to be asking me for the authorization to do install that into my Shopify store. So I need to install the application real quick. And what's going to happen is going to be redirecting us into the CJ drop shipping once again. So if you want to close your previous tab uh, like this, I'm going to go back into the CJ drop shipping and hit into do you, do you have a CJ account with this email so you can authorize now. So if I choose to authorize, I just need it to sign in. Or what I can do is to choose all of this option. So in my case, I do want to uh, sign in real quick. If you don't remember your account, uh, what you can do is to create another account. I mean, it's really, really easy to do that process. So uh, you're going to be popped with all of these features. I don't want to focus in here. I want to close, close and close. So what I want to do in order to fulfill orders is to, of course, I want to find the products that I want to sell. So here, what I want to do is to go into the warehouse. So I'm going to hit into the drop shipping supplier. I'm going to hit into the X button. And here into the X button, what I wanted to do is to choose, first of all, the authorization of my Shopify so I can be really sure that this uh, account is merged from into the Shopify store. So I want to go here. I'm going to hit into never mind me again. I'm going to hit into the X button. And here is my store. Here is really, really easy. And the store status is activated. So once I started here to send my orders directly into my store, what's going to happen is when someone makes an order for my store, it's going to be added automatically into the CGA dropshipping app. That's the really magical stuff about creating here dropshipping. So what I want to do is to find a product. So I want to choose this option of Happy New Year, you just want to figure it out which are like the winning products that you can sell. So let's say that I want to choose this windproof lighter like this. And if I like this product, I hit into the option that says uh, add it to the QE. If I go into the list or connect, I can add those directly into my pending products. So here's the connection. So here's the connect. If I hit to press the product, 
blend the product sorry to add that into your store so what you want want to do is to choose the Johnny I mean this is the option that I have here available into my Shopify hit into the store I want to choose this store hit into synced so as you can see the process it's going to be just making the synced process uh, actually it was more a little bit more harder but now I think that the GG drop to me has um, automatically updated all the forms of importing the things and all that so what I want to do is to figure it out if I do have this already available into my store so I can see the products that I just added right away so what I want to do is to list one of those so I want to choose list now here we go so what's going to happen here is going to be peering to all our SQ our color the price and here is the total drop shipping cost this is the part when you want to put your custom price of your item so if this one has been sold like it's four dollars let's say that you want to input seven dollars seven dollars seven and seven why do we have four of this because you can see we have four variants of color i mean we have five variants of color and the shipping method you're going to leave it like that go into the ok and here into the all list thing you can add a template if you want to but in our, in our case we don't want to focus on that we just want to um, make this really really quick so lastly what you need to do is to add list now so as you can see we have the listed successfully so what, what I need to do now is to hit into view it into the store so this one is going to be sending us back into Shopify and we can look for our products and there we go so what you want to do here is to change the title if you want to for example I want to choose the mountaineer with proof ladder I'm gonna leave it like this and here is our price here is our variance and the price of all the variants so after that hit into save and then what I want to do is to go back into my product so I can see that here is my active status so lastly what you want to do is to create a new collection so if I go into collections I'm gonna hit into home page and here into the home page I want to add my product as you can see this product has been added automatically so lastly I just need to add this directly into my online store so people can start to fulfill orders inside my store and this automatically is going to be sending this order directly into my dropshipping account so I can go into my orders I have order fulfillment and those should be appearing right in here you see it was really really easy to do this and we don't have to do absolutely anything because the application has everything under control so there you have it guys hopefully this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this cheap drop shipping and of course you have the links down below in the description of the shopify store so you can take advantage of all the new features that this platform has to offer to us so thank you once again for watching this video and i will see you on the next one